Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 25th of January. A cool, rainy day today. A changeover to snow late tonight. Of course, everybody wants to know how much snow. Will there be any issues tomorrow? Let's see if we can dig in there and answer some questions. First off, the uh, Skycam shots around the network uh, this morning. That is at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. That's from the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam. That's the Hugh Thomas Bridge connecting downtown Tuscaloosa and downtown Northport. Light rain is falling there. North of there, there's a look at the uh, rain falling in downtown Fayette. And to the south, there's a look at the campus of the University of Montevallo in Shelby County, where once again, rain is falling lightly. Check the uh, water vapor satellite shot. And you can see that big trough off to the west. And look at the convection down there in the Gulf. This could be a severe weather event for the Florida Peninsula later today and tonight. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 30s and low 40s. 39 for Cullman and Gadsden, 42 for Birmingham, 43 for Montgomery. Temperatures very consistent. Of course, no issues with ice or snow today. It's just going to rain on us. And speaking of the rain, there it is. Widespread light rain. And we'll see that uh, much of the day today. Here's the big picture. The surface low is down to 1,010 millibars off the Louisiana coast. You can see the convection down to the south of Mobile Bay. A slot of drier air coming up through Louisiana and south Mississippi. But again, the surface low will move up towards Savannah tonight. And this big upper trough comes in uh, late tonight, tomorrow morning, with potential to change uh, the rain over to snow for parts of North Alabama. And accordingly, the uh, Weather Service offices in Memphis, Birmingham, and Huntsville have winter Weather advisories and winter storm watches and warnings up for parts of their county warning area. Uh, interesting to note that our friends over in Atlanta don't, and the friends up in Nashville don't, but then northeast, again, you get the warnings again or watches for much of Kentucky and parts of the Appalachians. And then ultimately, that's all going to fill in northeast up toward uh, uh, New York City and Boston with time. And there's the big picture, the overall precipitation for the next five days. Valid through Saturday evening. Uh, this is suggesting amounts of about one inch. And again, there's a little donut there near Montgomery, kind of taking into account a dry slot. A little heavier strip of precipitation through uh, northwest Alabama. And then, of course, the big numbers are on the Atlantic coast. Check the HPC snow graphics. Uh, this is from 6 a.m., this morning until 6 a.m. tomorrow. This is potential for four inches or more big snows. And they've got the chance centered uh, just northwest of Alabama through parts of North Mississippi and uh, Middle Tennessee. And then after 6 a.m. tomorrow, they've got the big chance of four inches or more northeast of here. And this is going to be a big snow for areas just west of Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, maybe affecting the the D.C. Metro, it's a tough call up there. And then uh, New York City and Boston, hey, more snow like they really need it. And don't forget, uh, we're talking severe weather potential with thunderstorms down in Florida today. A, a risk of severe weather uh, for the peninsula. And again, that would include places like Jacksonville, Orlando, Daytona Beach, Tampa Bay, Miami, and Fort Myers. So going to be interesting to see how that goes in the warm sector down there. All right, this is the 06 CGFS at noon today. There's your trough. Down below that, there's the rain. And again, you can see potential for the rain changing to snow to the northwest this afternoon, maybe in Arkansas and uh, around Memphis. We'll go to tonight at midnight, and that blue line is the freeze line at 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet up, and it can be a rain-snow line. And you can see it's moving on through uh, northwest Alabama. Heavy snow potentially for parts of western and middle Tennessee. 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The deeper moisture is north of here over Tennessee. Precipitation down here would be relatively light. We'll check the NAM at the same time. Pretty much identical. I mean, that's a very, uh, model's in very good agreement. It should be snowing tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. But again, this is suggesting the better numbers will be north of here. 
But there is tremendous dynamic forcing. There's a look at the uh, 500 millibar prog valid at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The surface low, 5,431 meters around Lake Gunnersville. And uh, the core of the cold air loft is about minus 25 Celsius. And that will be coming right through the uh, northern part of the state. And again, that will be dynamic cooling. We'll check the uh, snow forecast coming off the NAM. And it's got a dusting uh, north of a line from uh, about Vernon to Trustful to Jacksonville and Piedmont. The big snows up in Tennessee. And the RPM is in good agreement. Uh, it's got snow down over the northern quarter of Alabama. And as we've discussed, we don't have a lot of skill with these upper lows. We have seen total forecast disasters with these things where, you know, you forecast a little light snow, a little light rain, no big deal, and boom, you wake up and there's eight inches everywhere. That's happened before. In fact, 10 inches in the 2001 event. But the bottom line is uh, we, we've tweaked the numbers a little bit. This is the, the snow forecast we're putting out. We haven't changed anything for the uh, northern quarter of the state up there in that winter storm watch area. Uh, basically north of U.S. 278, we've got two to four inches. And this is wet snow, mainly on grassy areas. Uh, more than likely at the surface, temperatures will be in the mid-30s as the snow falls. Maybe somebody getting down to 32 up in there. But uh, for the you see down this way, we, we've got a dusting to one-half inch. For the northern part of the Birmingham metro, Anniston, Jasper, places like that. And that would be on grass. I think for the Birmingham metro, we're just not going to have any driving problems on a widespread basis other than wet roads. Now, hey, when the roads are wet, we have wrecks. We know that. In fact, I, I have often said we have more wrecks with one inch of rain compared to one inch of snow around here. So, But again, I think the roads are just going to be wet. And then uh, south of Birmingham, just a few snowflakes. And then all rain below uh, Clanton down and through there. But remember, this is an upper low system, and this could bring, it will bring, I'll guarantee you right now it's going to bring surprises. But the bottom line is we think for most of our market, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, we're not going to have any driving problems tomorrow. Everybody goes to work and school as usual. The only potential issues would be up there in that winter storm watch area. And even there, I honestly think most of the roads will be just wet with no icy issues. Uh, there's midday tomorrow. The whole thing is winding down. Surface low moves up the eastern seaboard Thursday. And again, you know, there's no really cold air, Arctic air coming in behind this thing. So uh, where the snow does fall, it's not going to stick around for a long time. Uh, we'll be in the uh, upper 40s on Thursday. And then Friday, we go in the 50s. We're talking mid-50s. The GFS is showing 56. And Saturday, the GFS is showing 60. Whoa, Nelly, we're not going to go quite that warm yet. We note that uh, little impulse southwest of here. Uh, let's look at Sunday. Rain gets a little closer. And again, uh, very nice. Uh, Sunday, upper 50s. Monday of next week, rain stays west. That's a 1,040 millibar high now creeping in here. And could that set the stage for some winter wish uh, mischief next week? There's a look at Tuesday. Very deep polar vortex over Hudson Bay. Energy off to the west, and again, that's kind of setting up a, a snowy look there for the Red River and points north in Oklahoma. And then on uh, Wednesday, the 2nd of February, oh boy, we've had this Groundhog's Day event on here for how long? Two weeks now. If nothing else, the GFS, by golly, is persistent, and that would suggest potential for some icing or snow issues for parts of North Alabama. This is still voodoo country. It's, it's eight days out, but boy, it's getting close. And on the 3rd, it's gone. And the end of the forecast on the 8th, shortwave trough coming in here, but that's all wet. No cold air, but we do note a 1,052 millibar high over the Northwest Territories of Canada. And uh, there's the ninth, and that kind of begins to nose in here. So, again, weather just looks interesting for the next couple of weeks, and I still think temperatures stay below average on an average basis. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.